Over the last month, you may have seen claims of a power struggle between the three most important women in North Korea. As we'll see, that's not necessarily the case at all. But first, let's remind ourselves who these women actually are. The best known among the trio are Chairman Kim Jong-un's wife, Ri Sol-ju, and younger sister, Kim Yo-jong, who burst onto the global stage when she attended the 2018 Winter Olympics in South Korea. Since then, despite occasional reports of being frozen out or punished, she's steadily risen in state affairs. And then we have Hyun sung wol who's been portrayed by the media as a mystery figure, but who we've actually seen a lot of before, as well as leading the country's famous Moranbong band and Samjion Orchestra, Hyun's rumored to have had a past romantic relationship with Kim Jong-un. She was even the subject of a South Korean report in 2013 claiming she'd been executed, a claim that was clearly exaggerated considering Hyun's since risen to political prominence in addition to her musical leadership. Now, you can see why it's tempting to view them as vying for influence. Especially given the disappearance of Ri Sol-ju this year, the prolonged absence of Kim Yo-jong, and the obvious recent spotlight on Hyung sung wol closely aiding Chairman Kim. But there is an explanation that would suggest there's a more positive reason for all this, at least as far as these three women are concerned. For instance, the most credible theory behind Ri Sol-ju's disappearance since being seen alongside her husband in January is that she fell pregnant again. We've seen a pattern there with their previous children. But because Pyongyang is so far from transparent, rumors persist every time Kim or someone close to him is away from the public eye. As for Kim Yo-jong, rather than losing favor, she may have been lifted further. She is known to have been involved in government since 2014, but was increasingly seen directly supporting Chairman Kim in recent years. When we saw Hyun closely supporting Chairman Kim during that huge military parade last month, it doesn't mean she'd overtaken Kim Yo-jong, who was seated some distance away. Rather, they may have moved up the chain together. And there is convincing evidence if you look at Kim Yo-jong's recent moves. We saw this year how she was publicly behind the order to demolish the inter-Korean joint liaison office in June. And more recently, on the 15th of this month, Kim Yo-jong attended a Politburo meeting of North Korea's Workers' Party, which was presided over by her brother. South Korea's National Intelligence Service is actually expecting her to be appointed to an even more powerful position when Pyongyang holds its 8th Party Congress in January. Such is her status that influential US-based North Korea expert Harry Kazianis has suggested that Kim Yo-jong could play a meaningful role in diplomacy with the incoming Joe Biden administration. That could potentially be at a border meeting, also involving South Korea, or perhaps even Kim Yo-jong could become the first member of her family to visit Washington.